in Stockholm. Today we're going to be exploring some of the best sites of the city with a little bit of a walking tour. Uh, but before we head out there, remember to like this video and subscribe. There are new travel videos every week and I really appreciate your support. But for now, let's head out there. And we are starting the day here at the Southern Heights. Here you get a wonderful view over most of the city and you can see the town hall, the castle and uh, all of the churches. We can also see Djurgården where we have the amusement park Granda Lund and uh, all of the big museums. Uh, but now we're going to head to the old town uh, to start our walking tour for today. made it to the Swedish royal palace with the uh, guards outside uh, and this palace is from 1697. It's one of the biggest palaces in Europe with over 600 rooms. compared to the red ones in England. Um, so these were green and you opened up like this and you went into how cool. And today it is an exceptionally cold day and especially in between these uh, old stone buildings. And here we have the castle from the other side. Behind me here we have the Swedish parliament and uh, here is where they gather and then the offices are on the other side of the water so they have like passageway under uh, this bridge uh, so that they easily can go from their offices to uh, where they make all of the decisions. It's just a bit of a fun fact for you. Here we can see the town hall which is the place where the Nobel prize ceremony takes place every year usually <laughs> and uh, yeah they have the big banquet uh, in this place here so the building in the middle the little one is where the swedish prime minister lives when he is in stockholm i just have to show you it seems like there's like a swan invasion here just packed with swans here wow Grand Hotel, the place where all the celebrities and royalties come to stay when they visit the city. We have now continued our walk past the uh, Grand Hotel and made it to Nybroplan. This place is where we can take the ferry to all of the islands and where we have the uh, National Theatre. So you might be wondering, what is the best way to get around the city? Well, it is a very walkable city. So uh, most of the major attractions and sites, you can just easily uh, walk to. However, there is a underground system, a tram system and a bus system. So uh, yeah, the public transport is really easy and uh, really convenient here as well. This place is called Kungsträdgården and in the spring this park is filled with cherry blossoms uh, so it's really really beautiful and in winter time they have a ice skating rink as well uh, with beautiful lights so if you come here at night and go skating it's really really magical. Uh, 
All memories faded Sometimes I, I, I think of you No, I don't want to be a little and we have made it to the famous Plattan here on Sveriges Torg and behind me here we have the House of Culture and uh, here is also the shopping area of Stockholm with all the uh, big shops and everything. A place called Fan and Fika for lunch and uh, we've got some warming soups because it's such a cold day and some traditional Swedish desserts um, and uh, yeah we'll first dig into the soup and then we'll uh, try out the traditional desserts uh, but we have a dammsugare uh, it's called it's a um, Hoover <laughs> and a semla. Uh, so these are the uh, a bit more healthy raw vegan versions of uh, traditional Swedish fika treats. driven about 20 minutes out of the city to the royal palace uh, Drottningholm which you can see behind me here it is inspired of uh, Versailles and uh, yeah from uh, the 1600s as well mm -hmm. 